Now once you first connect the charger up, it'll go through a boot up sequence and a self display test. Once that finishes, it will automatically default to AGM battery type. Now to select a battery type, simply pr press and hold the mode button for about 10 seconds. And as you can see, the battery LED will start to flash. To select a battery type, press the mode button quickly and it will change. So for instance, say we wanted lithium, lithium being our auxiliary battery type, we set it to lithium, it will flash, and then it will set in, like that. So now we'll go through the charging modes on the left display, which are solar, alternator, and the charging status indicator. Now if the charger is disconnected or the vehicle battery's eight volts or less, there'll be no display. Now normally your start vehicle battery is above 8 volts and it's nice and charged around 12.8 or thereabouts. So what you'll get with a healthy start battery is the alternator light flashing 1 second on and 5 seconds off like we have now. Okay, start vehicle. Once the vehicle is started, you'll see your alternator light go solid green. This means that the voltage from the start battery and your charging system is at 13.4 volts. What will happen now is there will be a 120 second delay before the unit starts charging. So in 120 seconds, the charging light down here will come on as it's just done now and flash and indicate that your auxiliary battery is now being charged. The reason why we incorporate the 120 second delay is that it gives your start battery enough time to reach fully charged so this DC-DC charger can operate correctly. You'll see now that the unit is also in the bulk start charging stage and your auxiliary battery is being charged. Now in some vehicles, you might see the alternator light flash while the unit is charging. And this is perfectly normal this just means on your input side, your charging side, the voltage is below 13.4 volts, but it's above 12.8 volts. So the unit will still charge perfectly normal. Now what happens when the vehicle switch is off, which it just did, is there will be a 120 second delay again before the unit stops charging. Now we've included this 120 second delay when the vehicle's off, or when the vehicle's voltage falls below 12.8 volts. We've done that because the smart alternators or temperature compensating alternators may drop voltage. And what this 120 second delay is it gives a little bit of a buffer until the alternator charges again. So this is a really great feature to keep the consistency of the charger charging. As you can see, once the vehicle has been switched off, and after the 120 second charging delay, the solar side now kicks in. And as you can see, once the solar LED is solid on, you'll get charging from your solar and your alternator will no longer be charged. Once the vehicle is started again, the charge from the alternator will take priority after 120 seconds. So what you'll see shortly is the solar light will go out and the alternator light will remain on. So as you can see, the solar light's now gone out and the alternator has taken priority charge. Once the unit is in charging mode, you will never see alternator and solar on together. You might see them on together once the unit is in the 120 second delay mode, but once the charging mode is on, you will never see them both on together. Now a really good feature of this charger is the fault mode indication system. And one really important fault mode indicator is when you haven't got your auxiliary battery connected. What this charger will do is all the top lights will flash and the bulk and pulse mode will remain on. This simply means that your auxiliary battery has a poor connection or it's not connected. So it makes it easy to diagnose the problem. There are other fault mode displays which can be referred to in the user guide.